Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Chaos Head, a visual novel. It was typical for commercials of famous or famous singers of music videos to be playing at the Jumbotron located in the Shibuya Station Plaza. Currently projected on it, however, was the solemn face of a female newscaster. It was a special TV broadcast, and on the other and on the upper left hand side were displayed sensational words. Earthquake in Shibuya. Over 200 casualties? Damn. Earthquakes were an everyday occurrence in Japan, even in the capital metropolitan area. Magnitude 5 earthquakes were known to have taken place myriad times. But as the mass media gathered information, it became clear that this earthquake in particular had produced a bizarrely large number of casualties. Its strangeness was especially apparent when one compared it to the magnitude 5 earthquake in 2005, which had resulted in zero casualties. Mm hmm. And on top of all things, the earthquake had centered around Shibuya, the subject of close scrutiny throughout Japan, thanks to the new gen cases. An earthquake had also happened in Shibuya about three months ago. Eight deaths had emerged at the time, despite the fact that it was only a magnitude 3 earthquake. Shibuya wa norawarete iru no desu wa nai kan. Doesn't this feel as if Shibuya has been cursed? The people who laid eyes on initial reports about the new earthquake may not have given voice to this, but all of them surely taught it. In any case, all the individual stations began broadcasting special programming almost as soon as the earthquake started. Information was currently complicated, and though the full count remained unclear, the female newscaster read off her notes, stating, According to an announcement by the fire and disaster, mm hmm. You're not going to let me read that, are you? Alright. According to the announcement by the Fire and Disaster Management a Agency, 31, ca uh, 31 fatalities may have been confirmed at present. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, 31 fa fatalities have... F bleh, bleh. Seriously, I cannot fucking read. Why did I think this was a very good idea to do? Alright. Try this again. According to the announcement by the Fire and a and Disaster ma Management... What the hell? According to the announcement by the Fire and Disaster Management Agency, 31 fatalities have been confirmed at present. It is believed that the number will continue to rise. Furthermore, the cause of the, uh, of the death is... Well, what is the cause? Currently in indeterminate? Wow, seriously. Guys, I'm a translator myself. Can you please make lines like less having the most fucked up syntax ever? <laughs> because this is really hard to read. Even for a gaijin like me. I'm going to take a sip of water first. Excuse me. Huh, this is a professional let's play. Yeah, so I should have cut that out, but I did not. Deal with it. Additionally, news kept coming in about the mysterious white light that had attacked Shibuya, and the ensuing shock wave that had transformed that and the transformation of the sky from blue to white. The cameras affixed at regular points throughout Shibuya's pedestrian scramble had caught that light on tape, and Jumbotron kept playing a film where the screen went completely white as the earthquake ended. The discoloration that had begun together with the earthquake <coughs> had at first been more of a searing light than simply white. Shibuya had momentarily been enveloped, bleh, enveloped in a flash whose brightness stopped everyone from opening their eyes. If this were an earlier and more warlike era, people would doubtless have imagined it to be a nuclear weapon. There were some who actually spotted a white mushroom cloud floating several hundred meters about Shibuya, though it soon disappeared. 
yet no one had any idea about what the source of the light may have been, or how it could be related to the earthquake. Mysteriously, the white dyed sky returned to its original color in less than an hour, and now, and now the air above the people of Shibuya was covered in, in a somber blue, as though nothing had happened. The asphalt of Dogen Hill bore extremely minuscule fissures, each of them hardly more than a millimeter. Moreover, mixed-used buildings and other structures in the shopping center had also grown diminutive crevices on the surfaces of their walls. Really? My headache still wouldn't let up. I had taken close to two hours to reinstall my OS. Midway through, the pain had made me lose consciousness a number of times. I dozed off at the computer before, but this was the first time I'd actually passed out. Even so, the pain had, most, had mostly retreated compared to two hours earlier. I wet my throat by bringing some coke and mustered my energy. I returned my toppled bed to its original position and cleared some space on the floor to walk around in. Doing these things could, took considerable effort due to how my body refused to work up any strength, but I wouldn't be able to leave the room if I didn't clean up. It'd be the worst if, during Shogun's next attack, although I didn't know if it were really him or not, I found myself trapped in here and couldn't run away. I needed to guarantee myself an escape route. In any case, once I had finished rearranging things and reformatting my OS, I swiftly faced my PC and installed Insu. I attempted logging into Basilad. My excessive emotion also almost drove me to leap from my chair and pump a fist into the air, but even that was exhausting, and I stopped myself halfway. Even so, I was overjoyed to be able to meet my alter ego again, after thinking he had disappeared forever. Let's see. Now that, was our, now that I was relieved, I started wanting to find out what on earth had happened in the first place. It was enough to give me the urge to sue someone for damages. It had seemed like an earthquake, but that alone left too many things unexplained. I checked to see if Grim were in Basilat, but I couldn't find him. I tried going our usual chat room. I had tried going to our usual chat room. My bookmark for it had disappeared, so it took me a while to find. But Grim wasn't there, either. What was with him, vanishing on me at such a crucial time? I had no resource but to open the taboo homepage. Oh boy. There was some news headlined with over 200 casualties in Shibuya. Look, it's Kanto. It's like Pokemon. See where they got that? The Kanto region? Yes. Apparently an earthquake had occurred after all. Magnitude 5. The number of casualties was awfully high. They said chances were strong that it would con continue to mount even beyond 200. There were also reports that the sky over Shibuya had temporarily turned white and that a vast mushroom cloud had arisen. Well, had arisen. Or had risen, whatever you prefer. But no one seemed to be aware of how these were connected to the earthquake. They had pounced on it over at Ad Channel as well. A lot of people posting threads like Shibuya again, and Shibuya is over, isn't it? Videos had been uploaded, ones that showed film from the traffic cameras at the pedestrian scramble. <laughs> at the time, I had been attacked by a, horrific, uh, by a horrific headache. It wasn't even at the level where you could call it a headache. It had felt as though the inside of my skull were boiling. And even now, two hours later, it had left a pulsing pain and a limp heaviness behind in my body.
What? Dude, what are you smoking? When I thought of it that way, I had the sense that maybe my paranoid delusions about it being an electromagnetic attack set off my Shogun, by Shogun, weren't completely mistaken. Right then, I heard a familiar noise from my PC. It was the sound that rang out whenever someone entered the chat room. Nah, I got a feeling when you're going to enter it, it is going to be... Uh, Shogun. Maybe Grim had entered, reckoning I would ask him for details. I flickered my eyes toward the chat window. What? <laughs> hey oh Well, that was predictable. An unthinking shriek spilled from my throat when I saw that name, and my ears are getting raped by this fucking music again. You would not believe how loud it actually is. It's not going to be loud for you guys, but even with your sound on really low, it's quite loud here. Such impeccable timing. Could it be that he really was peeping in on my thoughts? The hand gripping my mouse quivered. I was so terrified that I went rigid, and even the pain in my head flew straight away. Even though I hated merely looking at the word Shogun, I couldn't rip my eyes away from the monitor. I wanted to leave the chat room, but I received such a shock that it was as though my body had been cut away from my consciousness and I couldn't control the mouse. A prickling sensation at the back of my neck. Someone was watching me again. God's gaze. Or rather than anything resembling God, might it in fact be the gaze Shogun sent down from a satellite's orbit. Uh, I want to run away. But where to? He'd catch me no matter where I fled in Japan. Long time no see. That was the first thing he said. With the lightness of someone greeting a friend he hadn't come across in a while. But I had absolutely zero recollection of being friendly with him. I was left to chew up my lip and watch the word displayed on the monitor. But the post by Shogun galvanized me, letting my petrified body move freely again, and I soon groped for my cell phone. It was a little past tree. Classes might still be going on. Even so, Rimi, surely Rimi would do something about it for me. I, I had to believe in this. I picked Rimi's cell phone number out on the short list of items recorded in my address book. <laughs> <laughs> Before we continue, I'd like to point out that I think Shogun is simply us, so the main character from a different dimension, seeing how the sequel actually deals with, uh, you know, different dimensions, but we'll see what happens. I've got a feeling... <laughs> <laughs> Do you hate me? It hurt to breathe. I couldn't think about anything calmly. Something tells me she won't be picking up the phone. I mean, a disaster just fucking happened. Rimi wouldn't pick up. Beyond the phone, the monotone sound of my call to her went on ringing. Why now? Didn't you always come materialize in front of me whenever I found myself in trouble? Why now, of all times? I'll send you a present. Present? Did he feel like sending me another one of those? And this time, he'd set me up as the real new gen perp for sure. No, I don't want that. I'm not the criminal. <laughs> Dude, calm the fuck down. It's just a dude in the chat room. Felt like I'd become a fish stranded on land. I wasn't getting enough oxygen. My head went fuzzy. Rimi was my last hope. Gripping the phone harder and harder, I concentrated all my attention on the other end of the line, as though praying. It went true. Okay, so all he said was, help, help me. Her voicemail? No. I'd be I'll be delighted if it pleases you, says Shogun. 
crushed, I ended the call. I hugged my upper arms. Wah! That bleep. Alright, time for Moso Trigger Green. Uh, just point out, um, at the end of the LP, I will be showing off all the cutscenes. Uh, even the red ones, so I'll be going back through the game to show you the bad cutscenes. Well, bad. You know what I mean. At some point, my body had started trembling. I dreaded Shogun even more than I thought. Of course I did. He was a serial killer who'd caused five incredibly cruel incidents, all while pretending to be disabled. And I was his next mark. <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ! You scared the fucking shit out of me! What the hell is wrong with you? God damn! Holy shit! Oh man, that scared me so hard. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Alright, enough about me. Let's continue. Rimi. As though she'd wait the perfect timing. As though my <laughs> my cri de coeur had reached her. Wow, I, I speak French and I even don't understand that. I, I It's just like a cry of, of the heart, I guess. Remy had come running to save me from my quandary. She opened the door and bounded in. Davy, does get it. Remy took a quick look at my face, then surveyed the area. Awakening to the fact that the PC was the source of my terror, she put in a furious expression and began typing. Shut the fuck up. From now on, you'll keep your hands away from Taku. Taku! I'm American, yeah! Whatever. Remy turned back and gave me a kind smile. <laughs> really? I doubt it. It's Shogun. Would it really work like that? Rumi could things could take things nonchalantly because she didn't know much about the net. But putting it harshly would probably just make him angry. To say nothing of the fact that our opponent was Shogun. I held my breath and watched the monitor, and after a little while, Shogun posted another statement. Oh, Jesus! What the hell? Dude, that sound! Uh, what? Dude, Shogun, you're my best friend, man. So anyway, he said I'll kill you. That's great. Uh, what? What just happened? Okay. Um, that actually gave me goosebumps. Silence flowed through the room. How could it be? Like I thought, we pissed him off. The tone of his last line was all too clearly different. It really was. <laughs> I doubt it. I, 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 don't, I don't share your optimism, miss. Uh... Uh, so anyway, did no, 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 not enough about me. Did what, Shogun? What? I mean, Shogun asked us to uh look for a sword and help ourselves. So why is he all evil now? Why is he giving like is is Taku's um. So is, is Taku's mind correct that he fears Shogun, thinking he really is the criminal, even though he sent a picture? Like, I, I'm I'm lost. I suggest I just keep on playing after this, but uh, judging how we're at the 20-minute mark, I'll see you guys next time, and thank you for watching. 
and I really have no clue what to expect. My mind is blown. I did not think that Shogun would really be the bad guy here.